Well, I'm getting ready to start the video on the uh, new Scoop, the 920iX. And I was trying to figure out how to express it to you, start off with. And then I got a YouTube reply back from one of my guys that follows me on YouTube, Wild Digger. And here's what he says. I like the new stealth. It looks like he took the best of every scoop out there and made a beast. That pretty much sums what he did. I like that reply right there. So that's what we're going with. Stand by. Okay. We're going to start the comparison just like this. Here's the new one, the 920i. There's the uh, titanium to the left. There's the 720i to the right. The Stava 9M9. And the Stava M9 with small holes. Not much difference than them. The Stava's got a 3 inch wide top. I'm not sure about the 720. I'll get the tape measure right in a minute. Look at, but the, uh, the titanium and the new 920i have a 4 inch top. They look pretty much the same in length. Stand by. Stand by. Now you will see the 720i is much higher in height. Same number of bends and everything. It's just 7 inches wide compared to 9. And the arms are welded on a little bit differently. These are welded on right to the top. In the front of the lip. Where these, like I said, these are unique. I'll get into detail on that in a few minutes. The tops are, uh, handles are all about the same. The rods, of course, are bigger than the 720 hour rods. The ones in the front and the ones in the back, a quarter inch. And that look like the quarter inch on the Stava. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. trying to take a spin but it's trying to rain on us but it's only going to be light rain they tell us so we're probably going to go back to the cave today I know we're going to put our little coils on and yeah, that's that's the, the back of them the stealth and the uh, 725 a uh, 720 and the 920 All right, there's the stop on the left, the 920 in the middle, and the 720 on the right. and the titanium. Okay, let's get the measure right now. We'll go back to front for a comparison. The titanium is 13 inches. I'm going to have to guess at the, at the 720i, but it's like 12. Because it's hard to, you know, it tapers back. So it's probably closer to 13 if you if you bent the ruler down. So you can see it's 13 straight across. 
and like I said the 920i and the 720i look almost identical we'll do the same thing again yeah 13 if you, if you hold it straight up not bending it back but if you start right at that little v, that little V piece right there it's 12 inches well I shouldn't say that the uh, 720i is like 11 whereas the 925 920 I mean is 12 inches so it's a half inch difference from the top of the V right there and the Stava is 11 and a quarter maybe no, no I'd say 11 and a quarter yeah and like I said we know it's 9 inches wide so we don't have to worry about the width as far as measuring goes okay the 920 IX is 5 inches high which we already knew and most of y'all probably know this, but I don't know it. The uh, 720 is 6 inches high. The uh, titanium is 5 inches high. And the Stavi is 5 inches high. So we got a 2 inch, 1 inch difference in the 720 is one is higher than the other all the other scoops it's hard to compare weight Chuck said it weighed four pounds with the wooden handle I think compared to the 720i which is I don't know the weight on it but I know it's really light you can see the braces inside the 720 they're kind of like on the sides and in the back Whereas, like I said, these are running longitudinal, I guess that's the word I'm looking for. You can see them stuck in there like that. See them? You can see them welded on the back here like that. For extra strength when pushing on the back. Okay, let's see what else we got to do here. I almost forgot the best part. I did forget it, actually. I had to come back outside and do it. If you notice this top lip on the Stava, it's kind of bent up a little bit. Some people make them flush. Some people bend them down. I've never been keen on them being up like this. On his other scoops, you can see a square is flush across the top. on the this is the m9 on the um, 2.2 i'm pretty sure this is straight it's not you know it's not tipped up not tipped down it's just flat straight across that's a good feature problem is when you're digging in the waves when you got your back to the waves and you're right in the wash area when you dig a target out and the wave goes by you when it comes back down as you know it comes down with a lot a lot of force if the target is up here somewhere with all that water coming down in, in a, at a rapid pace with force it'll kick the target this wing will kick the target right out of your scoop and away it goes I've seen it happen a lot of times same thing here this is a flat wing target hits up here wave rushes down it hits this and goes Vroom. you don't have any wings here nice feature flat flush face on the top now you don't think much about that but I'm telling you right there that point right there and these little doodads right here make this a fine dick ticket right here okay like I said the weight is four pounds with the wooden handle the scoop weighs two pounds or something I don't, I don't know that I'm going to attach another video to this video that Chuck sent me of all the details, the bends before it's made, so on and so forth. You'll really like that. It's interesting. Okay, now let's get to the back again. Quarter inch rods. Quarter inch rods. But like I said, the unique part is you can see the sides of the scoop come up like this. It comes up a little higher right here and it dips back down. Well, the rods come through there, and 
there. Actually, I can't get this baby like I want it. There we go. They actually go through the side and are tacked on the back and tacked on the top. So that all the strain is not so much on this top, but it's on these sides when you pull back. It's on both, don't get me wrong. But you can see it goes through. So the actual pulling part of this rod, when you yank back on the lever force, as Rosalind would say, the lever comes here instead of from the top itself. It pulls actually from both because it's welded in both places. That's a nice feature right there. Nice feature. Chuck had some detailed thought to make that like that. That's the prettiest, that's the nicest thing I like about it. And of course the top is well, I mean the top part of the, where the handle goes in is welded in there like that. In that really, in that video that he did and the pictures that will come along with it, you can see how the whole thing is assembled and how the top piece is welded on to the top. I think this is going to be a fine scoop for water hunters. I don't know how it's going to be for combo. It should be fine for everybody, you know, damp sanders and water hunters. Won't be any good for you dry sander guys, it's a little too big. It would be a good universal scoop though. But especially for water in the edge of the wash area where the waves are. It's got enough weight to be good because it will be lighter with it if, if you go with the carbon fiber handle. Nine twenty I X. I like it. I really like those wings right there, though. Damn, it's raining hard now. I'll be I'll be drowned in a few minutes if I don't get inside. That's a sort of scoops right there. Like Wild Digger said, he took the, it does kind of resemble these other scoops. You know what I mean? <laughs> Ah, old Chuck, come up with a nice scoop. There you go. 920i, 720i. I like them. Stand by. When you buy a scoop from Chuck, you get a brand new pair of these nice orange nylon gloves for gripping and an Allen screw to tighten up the new handle design. That's incorporated in all of his newer scoops, the 720 and the, now the 920. That's a nice feature right there. If your scoop handle breaks off, you just loosen that up and pull that sucker out of there. You got to do no banging. Like the titanium guy did. I mean, the, uh, he put a hole in the end of it so you just take the top off and knock the scoop out. Both are nice features. Okay, now I got to, I don't know how tight to tighten this thing. Cause I know the wood's going to swell. I'm going to carry the uh, Allen wrench with me today just in case. We're getting ready to go, so I'm going to leave all this stuff right in the truck. It's raining like... <laughs> I don't like it. Stand by. Lifetime warranty. Lifetime warranty. A lot of y'all like to say it's made in the USA. There you go. Side by side. One more time. 